and welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turned out at the very end. Are you ready? So, we're gonna get started. Okay, today we're gonna be drawing a sea animal, and we're gonna start with this black marker we have right here. And can you guess what sea animal we're drawing today? Well, it's gonna be the totally awesome sea turtle, inspired by Disney's Nemo. Uh, there's a little sea turtle named Squirt there, and I'm going to start by drawing the sea turtle's eyes. So let's draw two round eyes. They're kind of like circles, but like squish, more like ovals, I would say. So there's two eyes for Squirt, and then we're going to do two half circles on the top of each eye. And we're going to connect those two half circles with an arc on the top, and that's the top of his head. Next, we're going to do the bottom of his head, connecting the two eyes on the bottom. Now we're going to do the pupil of Squirt. So two pupils there and a little circle on the inside and I'll fill in the rest with black given I want him to have black eyes. I'm going to do his mouth next in which case it's going to be a half circle kind of a curve here and another one so you can see his open mouth. Okay, now we have the head of Squirt. Next we're going to do the body so we'll do a round curve here from the head and then we'll have a connecting from the bottom another half circle a round curve there. We're going to do Squirt's back leg. It's kind of like a flipper leg. There you go, there's the first one. The second one is going to be a bit bigger and longer. It's like a paddle. So we're going to have a straight line down here and then curve downwards to meet the other side. Now we have two, one arm and one leg, and we're going to connect them with a curved line and we'll connect the head here as well. Okay, next we're going to do the other arm, so a curved line and another one connecting here. And we have two arms and a leg for squared. Of course, I'm also going to do a design for the back of a shell. It's up to you what kind of design you want to do for your shell for your sea turtle. It can be a shape that you like, it could be a square, heart shape, you can have an animal, or like some kind of design that you like. It could be a spotted one too. Here I'm just drawing some air bubbles as he's playing around with some bubbles and I'll color those in later. Of course, your sea tur turtle squirt can be a little bit different from mine, which is perfectly fine. We're all going to come out with drawing that's a little bit different. You can make your squirrel squirt sea turtle a little bit different and unique in that you can have a really big head, a really big mouth, really tiny, tiny arms and legs if you like, and a really, really big shell if you like. So those are all some ideas of how to make your sea turtle your own. Of course, after doing your first one, you can do a couple more and just do a whole family of sea turtle just to practice doing the drawing. One of the great things about drawing is to create something that is your own and create a story associated with it. So I encourage you to kind of use your creativity and think about what kind of story you're trying to tell your sea turtle. Here, I'm going to add some brown spots, some big spots, some small spots, just randomly added to the end of Squirt's arm and also leg and also on his forehead. It's up to you at this point if you would like to uh, create different types of colored spots. You don't have to use brown spots. You can use rainbow color spots or you can have hearts instead of spots or rainbows or stripes or just polka dots. So it's really up to you. When I talk about making your drawing unique and trying to tell your story, one of the things I think about is um, trying to create a background story. So like, what is Squirt on his way to? Maybe he's heading over to a playground to meet his friends. Well, what kind of friends would a sea turtle have? Hmm, I wonder would it be a crab, a jellyfish, a baby shark maybe? Those are all some ideas. And then maybe he's swimming along and then is it really dark in the ocean? Are there um, seaweed that are floating nearby? 
Are there little animals that are swimming alongside this totally awesome sea turtle? Those are awesome ideas you can think about for coloring and drawing the background. So for Squirt, I'm coloring his shell with this turquoise color, but of course you can use rainbow colors that you like. It could be a dark uh, red and you can add a different section, can be orange, yellow. Really try to use different colors that you like that make you happy. Like it doesn't have to be traditional turquoise color shell. Next, I'm going to color in his mouth with this red here. Now I'm going to color in his head and also his body. It's up to you. I'm going to use this lime green to color in the head, but of course you can use different colors for the head, the arms, the legs. It's really up to you. For me, as I'm coloring in the head, I'm just making sure I don't color into Squirt's eye to make sure that's left white. And I want to just mention at this point, if you like these type of drawing for kids, I would love to hear comments below if you have other types of drawings you like me to do, for example, if you like me to do other animals or other characters, I love to hear some requests and consider it for the next and future drawings. So uh, let me know. Here I'm just taking my time coloring his arms and his leg, making sure I color in all the white spaces in between. While I'm drawing and coloring the arms and the legs, I'm also thinking about my background. I think for sure I'm going to add in some sea maybe sea animals in the back, probably a fish of some sort, debating about drawing an octopus. Octopus is kind of hard. Maybe I'll do an octopus for a future drawing. I'm thinking I could do a rainbow fish. Or maybe, uh, I think I'll definitely do some seaweed. Uh, I wonder if I should have lots of seaweed. Um, I know they're going to be wavy. Or maybe some long ones, some short ones. I haven't really decided yet. But see, we can come in many different colors too. I could do turquoise, purple, yellow, red. I think there's lots of choices. And you can have all the colors if I really want to. And just coloring and filling in all the gaps for a little squirt sea turtle here. And then I'll be coloring in the background next. I'm going to use a turquoise color to start on the seaweed. And of course, I'm going to make them really wavy like it's floating around underwater like that. There you go. And then the seaweed here. I'll color it in. I heard that you can eat seaweed as well, but I would highly recommend that you don't do that unless you talk to your mom and dad and they tell you it's okay. But I think that, I wonder if sea turtles would eat seaweed. Maybe it's something I need to look up later. Anyways, I'm going to color in the seaweed and then the other piece there. If you like, you can do a couple more on the bottom rather than just two. You can do a whole forest of seaweed as well. Or maybe some even animals are peeking from behind the seaweed, checking out what is swimming above. Maybe it could be a crab or maybe it could just be some mussels and shells. That said, I'm going to color in some fishes on the top. Here I'm going to do a fish and another one. You can see I do a little triangle for the tail. I'm coloring it orange. Kind of reminds me of these cheddar goldfish, but we know that goldfish don't live in the ocean really. So some kind of orange fish. If you like, you can add black stripes on it to make them more clownfish looking. But I'm basically wrap up for this drawing for this totally awesome sea turtle. Thank you so much for drawing with me for this drawing for kids. And I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time in another drawing for kids. Stay safe and stay creative everyone. Bye for now.